So up here at the top, we've got OU and Texas, obviously. And so it's OU, Texas. And then it's the teams that actually went to the conference championship in Oklahoma State versus Baylor. <laughs> What is up, everybody? It is Jake with Master of Football back at it again. Happy Monday. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to be up to date on all things EA College Football, subscribe to this channel right now. I also do some pro football, college football, and Madden videos as well. Please subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot, okay? Go down there, hit the red subscribe button, okay? You'll be up to date on everything that I'm doing. Also, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the regular stuff. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I have been pretty active recently on Twitter. I know it's pretty toxic and it's not really good for you, but I'll tell you what, it's really, really funny. So I was checking something out and, and you see, whenever there's smoke, there's fire. And whenever a whole bunch of people are talking about something, you got to pay attention to it. So I was looking to try and see like, you know, what's going to happen with the Big 12? You know, I actually follow a couple of Big 12 channels. I'm pretty close with a couple of those guys. You know, they do really good work over there. And like I said, there's already, it's a, it's a, blue ocean or excuse me it's a red ocean market for you know any sec big 10 pr uh, predictions out there nobody really talks about the pac-12 i wanted to go ahead and touch base because i i saw this and i kept on seeing it so check this out for who the, the internet thinks is going to be the big 12's sleeper team to win the conference so on june 14th uh it was your boy joe Broback. he says who are your sleeper teams in college football this year then coming over here to TNT College Foot One podcast, they say that there this is on Ju July 17th, so about a month later, Kansas State is a real deep sleeper to me. Deuce Vaughn is the best running back in college football, and I feel Adrian Martinez will shine in the new system. I really believe they can win the Big 12. All right, we're starting to kind of put some things together here. We're starting to see some, some patterns. So here are with Jane Coaston from the New York Times, and she quotes this as, is Kansas State a sleeper Big 12 title pick? Quotations, I actually think yes and this is from august 4th so i'm telling you right now we're starting to see okay we've got normal people we've got you know people from new york times we've got a lot of different people touching base on here so it looks like this kansas state thing might actually happen it looks like a lot of people are feeling them and then leave it to late kick from 247 josh pate he says uh, everyone who has uh, k-state is a sleeper this year uh, yeah so it's when that happens it's no longer a sleeper so Kansas State football last year had a pretty solid season. Again, went to a bowl game, went eight and five. They did pretty well. They return a couple of key players. They lose Skylar Thompson to the NFL, but they gain a guy by the name of Adrian Martinez, former starting quarterback for Nebraska. My friend is a Nebraska fan. He always dragged me to those games. I saw more Nebraska football than I saw more Nebraska football than somebody who didn't want to see Nebraska football in the entire world. Okay, that was me. But continuing off that, we, we see that, you know, they, they've got Deuce Vaughn, Adrian Martinez. They've got a couple guys back. And a lot of people are saying, oh, this might be a sleeper team to look at for the season. Let's check what their preview is, kind of says, and break down what's going into K-State football for 2022. So here you are with collegefootballnews.com, their 2022 preview for the Kansas State Wildcats. We come down here, we break it down. Last year, 2021, they were 8-5, and 4-5 and five in conference. So 4-0 and non-conference, pretty good. Uh, and, and that includes that bowl game that they won. So it starts off, it says, okay, so obviously Deuce Vaughn, Adrian Martinez, uh, All-Star, Cooper, BB out on the outside for the tackle. It looks like they have to replace some interior guys, but it looks like they're going to be pretty good. They've also got, you know, Phillip Brooks is the top returning yardage leader who's a little small guy. Malik Doles is six foot three. They've got some help on the outside too. So offense, I think they're going to be pretty decent on offense. Speaking of... Deuce Vaughn. I wanted to show you what this guy is and what he's capable in case you don't know who Deuce Vaughn is. So we're going to react here to uh, some Just Vaughn productions. He has an awesome, awesome channel. I encourage you to go check it out. But they basically what they're doing right here is they're having Deuce Vaughn highlights from 2020 showing you what he is capable of. I just want to show you a couple of these highlights because first of all, he just absolutely embarrasses Texas in a couple of these highlights here. So let's react to this clip for 20 pounds. But your boy is super super dynamic in terms of running the football fun same situation right now he's spread out here up at the top he's gonna go ahead and shake oh no throws it to him a little bit behind actually puts him in a bad spot look at the way he breaks this tackle right here so he's gonna break it oof that he had his foot he had his foot locked but he's still able to keep his feet because his center of gravity is just so low all it takes with deuce you miss one tackle and your boy is gone he is a dynamic athlete 
So the defense last year was third in the Big 12, did a pretty good job, but they lost a lot of guys out there. Uh, it says the back seven slash eight in the alignment should be terrific once the transfers get used to their jobs and the pass rush should be fine, but overall depth is going to be a bit of a question mark. And, uh, you know, linebacker core, you've got your boy, Will Honus, who uh, missed all last year with a knee injury. He was from Nebraska, comes over with Daniel Green in the backfield. They're going to have pretty good linebackers out there. So it goes on to say that they actually look like they're pretty good. They've got a pretty good team. They've got good players. So it comes down to two things. We're going to go into the schedule here to kind of see how that schedule breaks down. Also, what their issues are going forward, because their issues are two things. Now, again, the, this, the issues that they have affect every single team out there, but they have you have to always watch out for this because those two things are incredibly incredibly important to get right so here we are with sportingnews.com we have the full list of the 2022 big 12 championship odds and you see a very very common thing here with the with the theme so up here at the top we've got ou and texas obviously and so it's ou texas and then it's the teams that actually went to the conference championship in oklahoma state versus baylor and then you got tcu out there with sunny dykes at head coach kansas state right around the same spot Iowa State's a little bit farther down, and then it drops off a cliff with West Virginia, Texas Tech, and then Kansas really drops off a cliff. But uh, I, I actually don't mind these odds, but right now, again, this used to be, uh, I think it was like 2,500, and now it's only plus 1,200. So a lot of people are starting to be like, oh, this might not be a bad idea here. This is a pretty good bet. But it, it highlights a big reason why they're a pretty good sleeper. You come down here and you check them out. It says right here, the Big 12 champion betting odds sleeper is Kansas State. One thing you have to watch out for, Colin Klein is the new head uh, offensive coordinator, so we'll see what he does there. But again, they are going to have a running quarterback. Skylar Thompson wasn't as much of a running quarterback as Taylor Martinez, but you'll see that Taylor Martinez has one big issue, and Kansas State has another big issue. The one issue they have right here is in 38 games at Nebraska, he threw 30 picks and he fumbled 34 times. That's 64 turnovers. Now, I don't know if all of those fumbles were uh, lost fumbles, but at the same time, I mean, you, you dropped the ball 34 times in 38 games and you threw 30 picks in 38 games. Turnovers are going to be an issue. If he can cut those turnovers down, Kansas State is going to be a really, really successful team. If not, they could struggle in games that you don't feel like they should struggle in. That's what turnover to heavy teams do is that you'd be like, why are they close in this game? It's because just, just couldn't give the ball away. The number two factor they need to watch out for is the fact that they need to watch out for injuries. I know that it's every team can say it all the time, but I will say this. Alabama could lose half their starters and probably still go 10 and 2. Kansas State, they are a really, really top heavy team for what it looks like. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully they can stay healthy. Hopefully Adrian Marketing can cut down on those turnovers because this team looks is a pretty heavy favor for a lot of people out there to be a big time sleeper. Looking at the schedule here, we see uh, that in fact they play South Dakota week one, they play uh, Tulane week three, so and then they play Missouri week two. So this Missouri game, I, I mean, we'll see what happens there. They get them at home, that is a good thing. And then right, they open up big 12 play at Oklahoma, Brandon Venables, new season, Dylan Gabriel, new quarterback, or new new head coach, new quarterback. So we'll see what that happens there. Texas Tech looks like they've lost like a lot of people. And again, I've, I've seen this a couple different spots. If Kansas State is serious about winning the Big 12, they have to win at Iowa State. They have to. Now, I know it's obviously it's a tough spot. You know, the, the Iowa State, you know, Matt Campbell is a good coach. But if you're actually serious about that, you have to win that game. At TCU, again, uh, not as much that situation. But I, I think that TCU is one of those teams that, you know, it's, I, I, it's hard to predict a new head coach. So we'll see what happens there. I know it's hard to predict a new head coach with Oklahoma, but it's freaking Oklahoma. I mean, they're pretty talented. Oklahoma State at home. Texas home, those are two big ones back to back there. If they can be able to pull one of those off, that's a good, that's a big deal for them. And then at Baylor, at West Virginia, I'm telling you, this at West Virginia game is going to be tough. Okay, it's going to be tough. All five starters returning on the offensive line, a lot of returners returning on the defensive line, a uh, new offensive coordinator, new quarterback. They've got a lot of things going for them. If West Virginia, if this right here, there, let's just say there's we game ten there, they're seven and two going into this game it is going to be an absolute madhouse i know i know it's a prediction there they are my west virginia is my sleeper team uh, prediction for the big 12 and then kansas listen kansas i love you guys you're not good at football it's probably not going to go your way you're probably not going to win i think it's the sunflower trophy i don't know you're probably not going to win the, the, the rivalry game 
All right, guys, what do you guys think of Kansas State football? I personally, I'm checking them out there, okay, checking across the Big 12. I see the fact that, you know, like I said, they went from plus 2,500 on the betting odds up to plus 1,200. A lot of people are, a lot of people like them. But uh, again, if they can cut down on injuries, I know it's, it's kind of, a, they just don't get injured. That's a better thing to say. They don't get injured and they cut down on their turnovers, especially from AJ Martinez. Deuce Vaughn gets rolling. They've got a, some good, you know, rushing attack ability. I think they could be a problem for a lot of teams in the Big 12. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am out.